Hello, testing. Testing. All right. Great. Well, welcome everyone to Neverwinter Live. This is the fourth installment of a long tutorial uh, group that I uh, grouping of videos that I will be putting up. Uh, this particular title tonight is going to be about gear, everything about gear. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, how's everybody doing tonight? Let's get this going. Okay. So tonight will be a little bit different than usual. There won't be too much action, too many, too much sword fighting and spell slinging. It'll be more of just a explanation on what most, what's the most important. Um, really, it's it's the gear. Uh, this is going to get you through the higher levels, and it's going to bump your item level up high enough. From what I've been talking about in the earlier streams. Um, it's going to bump that up so that you can be able to go to some of the higher higher dungeons and higher level content. So that's what we're going to be going through today. Um, I'm going to go ahead and give it a couple more minutes just to introdu for introductions and see if anybody else is going to join the stream because I wouldn't want someone cutting uh, right in the middle of uh, things. It could probably get confusing. So uh hope everyone had a good weekend. And uh, we're going to get started here. I'm testing out some new stuff on my stream as well, so you're going to enjoy that as well. Let's take a look at it. And if... Come on. I need to get some stuff going here on my stream. There we go. There's my bot. Okay. All right, so cool. We just installed a new bot in my stream, so I'm trying to get that up and running as well, guys, for this so you can give you some um, some things. So we got a new currency running uh, in my stream right now. It's Psy, and Psy uh, bot, and um, all right, we're ready to go. Cool. All right. Oh, it's, what is it, Monday? It's only Monday. Goodness, goodness, goodness. I'm already tired. Hey, what's up, Corey? Welcome, welcome. Glad you can make it again tonight. Just crawling up this tree right now, hanging around. In uh, Protector's Enclave, this is where we're going to start. All right, we've got somebody else. Great, welcome, welcome to the stream. Um, hope, hope you enjoy it. Let's see. And I'm gonna keep as we keep getting people. I'm gonna keep giving people points. So we're gonna be generous tonight since we're starting this out. You guys, are the first one's gonna be start start out with this new new bot I got. All right. Those points will be used later on in um, later streams when I start to do giveaways. Maybe some of the giveaways will cost a little bit of points. Some. Uh, cyber uh, cyber uh, currency and that way you have more of a chance of getting in if the other people can't afford it <laughs> so yeah yeah points for everybody in here um, especially you start out with some points that I've set up and then the more you watch I think every five minutes you get ten points and uh, there's some other extra things that come along like if I can give out points during the stream for certain things I think there's also points for uh, don't, don't, don't tell anyone I told you, but I think there's points per message that you write too, so the more chatter, the more fun we have together, the better it gets. Alright, so let's get started. So, uh, today we're going to be talking about gear, like I said, and, uh, this is going to be, um, kind of a run through as quick as I can and probably won't spend a whole hour doing it because that would just be boring but um, we're gonna go ahead and try to help find a different some different ways for you guys to get some gear and get your item level up alright so I'm not gonna explain the first part because everybody is again like I said it's kind of straightforward from level 1 to level 60 you kind of run through the quest line you finish everything and you collect all that really low level gear that 
you'll never ever see again in your life in Neverwinter <laughs> once you reach 60. Um, then once you're at 60, you'll start the Elemental Evil quest. And then, oh great, we got another person. Okay, we're, we're really rocking tonight. Let me get... Uh, Guys, you're gonna have to be merciful to me. I'm getting used to having two things go on at once. All right, cool. Um, oh, and they left. Anyway, but good. You guys get some free points anyway. Um, what we're gonna be running through is uh, kind of after Elemental Evil, what kind of gear you get. Um, at the end of Elemental Evil, you're gonna get two pieces of artifact gear. This is gonna be kind of your your base. This is where you're gonna start getting really good gear. Um, I'm going to show them to you. I only have one because I threw the other one into another higher level piece of gear. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, nice. All right, now we got food going on in here. That's great. Awesome. Um, so this is the Pact Blade of Elemental Fire. It, yours is going to be different if you have a different character. Um, yeah, awesome. Great job. Thanks for following, Corey. That's great. Um, or no, not, not Cory. I'm sorry. That's not Cory. Carthion, what, what is your name again? I apologize. Carthion's also part of my uh, my guild. He's an awesome guy. He's been here longer than most of them <laughs> in the guild. Uh, but anyway, awesome. Glad to have you here. Um, but anyway, so the pack Blade of Elemental Fire is going to be the one that was given to me at the end. Um, you will get something different if you're a different character. It's Lord Carthion. Okay, all right, all right. I'm just gonna start calling you Lord then. We won't even. We won't even. I'll say my Lord. <laughs> um, we'll. Uh, but anyway, uh, you're gonna get a primary weapon and a secondary weapon, and uh, I'm gonna be just clarification, kind of looking through most of the Scourge Warlock gear. So you just gotta remember that if you're a different character, you might. You're gonna have, be focusing on different. Uh, um, stats. Alright, so for me, in Scorch Warlock DPS, I'm really after that power and that crit. Um, I love the power and the crit. So, um, if you are somebody else, just make sure that you go on to MMO Mines or read up about the different types of uh, uh, people that you're playing, or different characters you're playing, because it, it's different for each of them. Um, so, you're going to get these two things, and this is kind of the start. Um, they're basically given to you free after the quest line. You can refine them, which is the most important thing. So it's not going to be like this up to this level when you start. It'll be around one. It'll be 120. It goes up five item levels per uh, per refinement. So you start out with kind of a general, then you get rare, and then this is into uh, epic right now. It's purple. So just make sure that you are throwing your refinement points into this. This is probably one of the first pieces of gear you're going to get where you're going to be able to refine. Refinement, again, is just going in here, and you're going to have different things you can refine with. You'll collect these different stones and enchantments, which you're not going to see because you can't refine equ equipment with enchantments. You can only refine artifacts with enchantments. But you can do s these different stones you can throw in there, all sorts of things. I'm not going to do that because I'm not really investing in that right now. So that's going to be your first big two pieces of gear. You're going to build your entire arsenal around that. The only other thing that's different is if, and here's a little, another little trick, is um, this is an enscrolled molar horned pack blade. It's different. for There's different types for each uh, uh, like a Scourge Warlock and a Cleric. But these are actually very cheap on the Trade House. So if you want to, you put in that and you just search for it. And if you go over that, I know that looks very expensive because it's all bidding, but most people look. It's only about 50,000 Astral Diamonds. And you guys will be surprised that as you get uh, higher up in level, it's very easy to get 50,000 AD in a night uh, through salvage and other ways. I'm actually going to do a special um, I'm going to do a special um, tutorial also on how to just max out AD and, and everything. But for now, just believe me in saying that you can get AD very easily. And once you do, 
it's I highly suggest you just buy these out outright these two pieces and they're not refined or artifact pieces but um, but they still are better so I don't know why they did this Neverwinter but if, if you don't catch it you'll miss it but it's actually better so right now I actually have that equipped because if I go in and try to compare it to the artifact weapon I would need to get this probably to a legendary artifact we weapon before it's as good. You see down there I go negative 66 damage, negative 14 power, negative 503 critical strike just if I switch back to my artifact weapon. There are a lot better artifact weapons out there, so as soon as you finish Elemental Evil and you get those two artifact weapons, it, you might, it might be better just to increase enough AD to buy out those end scrolled uh, things. And it's the same item level. Actually, it'll be more. The item level will be more because, again, remember, when you get the Elemental Evil Artifacts, you're going to be at an item level 120. So if you get enough AD, you only probably need 100,000. You can buy those two, uh, pack, the Packed Blade and uh, the secondary and put those on and boom all of a sudden you get 10 plus item level plus a ton more of the stats that you're looking for <laughs> oh okay all right you're calling travis you're telling me i need to give all i i'm the only one that can do that good try though but i did see that we we got some more people in the stream so i we actually got two more so i'm going to go ahead and give all do it twice i should have just said 20 right but Okay, we'll keep. Hopefully, my bot can keep up with me. <laughs> there we go. Um, so yeah, uh, that's probably my first big suggestion for you guys is to try to invest in just getting that because it's going to be a while before you get any better artifact equipment. Uh, definitely, the next uh, artifact piece of artifact equipment you can get is going to be better than the and and source sold pack blade so just keep that equipped until you get to that next pair of artifact equipment and you'll be good to go okay so with that being said um, and that's again why I ha don't have it equipped the next thing to talk about is the uh, w what you're gonna start getting so once you get to level 70 you're gonna Get, get to the point, actually you don't even have to get to level 70, probably between 60 and 70 you might get to the point where you can start queuing for dungeons, uh, epic dungeons like Malbox Castle which is a 1600 item level and I'll, f I'll show you how to get that high of an item level using other things as well but uh, as soon as you start getting these uh, dungeons and you start playing them you can get uh, elements, uh, seals of the elements. I'm sure some of you have probably already been collecting these and um, uh, so when it has, if you've been collecting them and you're kinda wondering where you need to go for them I'll show you right over here because they don't explain it to you very well. Good old Neverwinter. Always and forever never explaining to it. So this is the steel trainer and don't forget about this because there's a max on how much elemental seals you can get. And it's actually down there at the bottom. I've maxed them out. Uh, 1,200. And if you're not careful you can start losing the collecting of elemental seals and buying the rest of this gear. So you always want to keep that in mind and always watch your elemental seals because when it starts getting high you want to come here and get your equipment. So here's your first major equipment that you can get that's the best that you can start out with. It's the Alliance Assault or Raid or it's probably a different name for you if you have a different character but it's an item level 130 and it's got a guaranteed slot for you as well as an overload slot in some of your gear which is also very helpful. So you want to make sure that um, you fill those slots when you get it but here's what you just you buy this this stuff all right you can also get this gear out of the dungeons itself sometimes so play the dungeons get the gear and maybe you won't even have to buy the elemental seals but in case you don't get it because you know some people are just more unlucky than other people like me <laughs> I'm probably the most unlucky person when it comes to Neverwinter um, you just collect the seals of the element, do the work, put it in, and then you can come out with a full set of Alliance gear, which is awesome. Alright, so that's going to be the first thing you're going to look at. Then your next set of gear that you're going to look at to get, and again, I'm trying to tier these so that you guys can have goals that you look forward to. Um, when you 
when you're in Neverwinter, you can get highly overwhelmed by how much stuff you should be trying to get. And um, if you kind of go for that top tier of equipment at the start, it's going to stress you out, trust me. It's, it's too hard. Um, I'm not even there yet. I'll show you my gear, and then I'll show you the next level gear over top my gear that is even higher that I still haven't even gotten. Um, but just to start out, again, uh, you, you're given your two artifact equipment. You get enough AD to get those ensorcelled. Ens is that how you say it? Ensorcelled. Anyway, you can buy those outright and get those to help. And then you also can start with your Alliance Assault or your Alliance Gear and get a full set of that very easily by just running dungeons. Anybody in our guild will help you out with that. The dungeons are really fun and they're uh, definitely, um, definitely worth running. Okay, so as soon as you do that, you're gonna, um, we're gonna take a jump over to some other things before I give you the next set of gear because that ge this gear is probably gonna get you at around 1,800 item level, maybe a little bit less, but it won't get you to that 2,000 item level that you need um, to start your protect, uh, start your epic dungeons, your epic epic dungeons. It's kind of a weird name. They put them all under epic dungeons, but there are some serious What's epic dungeons place? that are around item level 2000. But anyway, this assault gear will get you real good uh, yes, into sir. the one, uh, 1800 item level range. Um, once you do that, you need to do that extra little bit of a bump to get you into that 2000 item level range. And I'm going to show you how to do that. And there's several different little ways that you can do it. Whoa, my game's glitching really crazy right now. Sweet. Okay. Keep up with me. Okay. What was I doing? Oh, I'm distracted. ADHD. Okay. Um. <laughs> oh, yes. I was going to go over. Let's take a look at my character again. All right. So, if say you get all the uh, elemental item level, the next thing you want to do is going to go into your inventory because you e you have a gem slot in each one of your items. Uh, each one of your pieces of equipment. That gem slot needs to be filled. Um, it's real easy to fill. The Again, the trade house has gems that are real cheap. If you look at them, uh, if I just go... No, I want refinement. They're going to be enchantments. Um, and let's do rare, because that's easy to get. And it's... Oh, uh, no, 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 no. I want enchantments. Rare. There you go. Come on. Get over there. Ooh, they're all... Everybody's trying to bid. Oh, look at that. So they're like 300 Astro Diamonds apiece. Okay, you get like 2,000 Astro Diamonds for running two skirmish... Or per skirmish that you run. You can run like three skirmishes. So you can get almost 6,000 um, thereabouts uh, AD just every day by running a skirmish. So make sure you do that. But buy these outright you can start up here and as you can see each one of these enchantments has an item level of 23 so if you look at your character and I it took me forever to figure this out but all those slots that I got can be filled with one of those and I'm su I was surprised at how much my item level went up when I put a gem in each slot so make sure if you're looking at that because as soon as you get a new piece of gear you kind of pop it on you don't think about it there might be a gem slot in there so go there, you click on the on the actual piece of equipment, it'll have that little box up at the top middle left, and it'll be empty, and you say, um, manage item enchantments, and you just click on it, it goes empty, and, you'll, and you put it in. So right now, this has one, and then this is an overload slot. Problem is, is the overload slot does not have an item level on it. So... Definitely buy overload gems if you want, and if you have the t have the money or time to do it. But it's not necessarily necessary unless it just gives you a small boost. Um, it's kind of insignificant. If I was going into like a high level dungeon that might be difficult for me, um, I might pop on a few uh, because those overload slots have a timeout. The timeout is about two hours. So if you have that gem in your overload slot and you're using it, you basically have two hours with it, and then it disintegrates. You have to buy another one. Poop. So, um, go ahead and fill the overload slots if you have them. If not, no big deal. 
but as you can see you can get the item levels up really quickly all right there's two different types of enchant three different types of enchantment there's a uh, utility slot which is this one then we have a this is a defense slot right here and then on the weapon we would have probably an offense slot yes an offense slot all right now each gem I'm going to go in my inventory and show you each one of them. It has a different stat to it. Got them all beautifully set up here for you. So here's a uh, Radiant. Got uh, I just call them by color usually. So yellow um, gives you some defense and some um, offense. So offense is power, defense is hit points. This one is uh, recovery and deflection. This one is two third armor penetration, life steal, and blah, 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 blah. And uh, they each give you things. Again, make sure, based off your character, you're putting in the right gem that gives you the right stat. So, for instance, in my Scourge Warlock, right now I have, um, uh, I have in my defense slots, I have Life Steal because I do a lot of damage. So, if I'm able to hit people more, I'm able to steal more of people's lives, and it's just better um, and because I'm max DPS. In my offensive I switch between power and crit because I want to do that high DPS um, and then here is another little trick that I'm gonna give you guys that I didn't realize until uh, later on but in you your till in your utility slot there's different utilities like claiming extra gold like sure if you want to. Um, if there's like extra XP, like an extra X XP one, I mean, if you are, that's great, but as soon as you're 70, guess what? It's pointless. So there's really no sense in wasting amount of money to get those um, and refine those up. So the more I looked, the more I found that the only utility slot that was really mattered was movement, and that was the dark enchantment or the red enchantment. So I had equipped all my utility slots with red, which gives me faster movement, which is great. But then I came across um, a friend who told me that these different enchantments, these Dragon Horde enchantments and these Fey Wild enchantments, give a bonus if they're in utility slots. So for instance, this one is I have a 2% chance after killing a foe. Again, remember I'm DPS, I do a lot of foe killing. Um, you can gain a refining stone at your feet, and those refining stones are the stones that... Um, hold on, something's going outside of my house really weird okay anyway interesting um, if you, you have two percent uh, chance after killing a foe to find a refining stone at your feet um, guys hold on a second let me figure out what's going on here what the fuck is going on here I'm having three trucks drive up in front of my house right now. And they're just sitting here. Okay, they're leaving. Cool. Okay. Um, you can get the uh, refining slots at your feet, and these are used for refining. Um, which I think is so much better than just getting a little bit of extra movement. Uh, the other cool thing, which makes these so easy to get, is that if you go into campaigns, and you guys will get here if you're not here already, but if you go to the t Tyranny of Dragons, there's this thing over here saying Dragon Horde Enchantments. And you can actually make them using your campaign currency. Now, the cool thing is is that this these enchantments are epic. And a lot of the epic enchantments that you have to buy or either refine to get, um, it costs a lot of money, a lot of, a lot of AD. Um, whereas in this Dragon Horde uh, campaign, in the campaign, you can basically just make these straight out with your campaign currency as well as 5,000 AD, and you get an item level of 39 instantly. That's really easy. Um, it, it's kind of a boost in your item level. It's, surpri it's surprising. It really is. So um, make sure you do that. Uh, I'll show you the other one in the campaign in case you want to do that as well. It's in Sharandara. Where is it? Oh, Sharandara. Up, 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 up. Up, up, up. Okay, there it is. 
There it is. Fey Blessing Enchantment. Boom. Level 39. Item level 39. This one gives you a 1% chance of after killing a foe, you can spawn a Will-O-Wisp, which gives you extra enchantments. So those are really good bonuses that you want to get. Uh, yes, it does, actually. It stacks with the Wanderer's Fortune Insignia bonus as well. Um, I think those two things give you different... Um, no, they don't give you different things. You're right. Yeah, um, I actually, yeah, w the friend that showed me it had everything stacked up, and I mean, he was dropping a gem probably every two or three people that he killed. And again, when you're in, like, when you're trying to kill Trash Mob, it just, boom, I mean, it drops all the time. If you've been watching my streams, actually, you might have noticed that every once in a while it pops up in my, my bottom right corner, but I will. I'll be getting stones all the time. And you might have been wondering, well, how the hell is he getting stones? Why, what's going on there? It's because of these enchantments. And then the other thing is, once you keep refining them, um, they actually, it gets higher. So, um, so for instance, I now have a Dragon Horde enchantment. This is an item level 48. Th I refined a lesser one, and now I have a 2% chance. But the thing is, is that there's a ton of uh, utility uh, slots. So I think right now I have 5 or 6 on right, right now of uh, enchantments. 2% each. So I have almost a 12% chance every time I kill an enemy to, to drop it, which is actually pretty good in this game. Um, and again, it just you can't beat the item level. You can't beat the item level. It's t The amount of time it would take you to get a dark enchantment up to the item level 39 would just, it would take you too long. It would be too, too exhausting. Um, so just buy those enchantments outright in the campaign windows, put them on, get going. That'll get you some uh, an extra nine item level times five or six. You're talking about an extra 50 item level right there, just for doing that that campaign. All right, so that's those. Enough of those. I I know I spent more time on those because they're just super important. Um, you have no idea how that helped me out. All right, two other enchantments that are uh, of of note to look at are these. So as soon as you get um, the higher level gear, you're going to get another slot in your armor and another slot in your main hand. And these are for a armor enchantment and a weapons enchantment. And now there's different types, so you have to read each one. Go on to Neverwinter... Um, oh no, my... Laptop is dying, and I don't want you guys to lose my. Nice to keep gaining points. Okay. Great. Okay. So there are different types. Um, you make sure you read those. I can't really go through them all with you right now because it would take a while. Um, they have a lot of uh, it's a lot of reading, and you part, whenever you read one of these things once, it doesn't really make sense to you. <laughs> At least it doesn't for me. So I kind of have to read it over again and go, okay, this is what it does. Um, so make sure you look at your stats to get the right one. I'm going to tell you that for a Scourge Warlock, I got the Lesser Soul Forge. Oh, actually, this is the only difference. So the armor enchantment, I will tell you you probably want to go with a soul for forged. Um, again, it, it's up to you what you want to pick, but the soul forged is the best. Read it. It says, if you fall in combat with a soul forged armor, it will resurrect you and heal you for 5,400 and then 900 health every second for three seconds. This is like an instant